Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to review the camera on the U Utopia. So Utopia is the, the flagship phone from Utilivengers and this is packed with a really great hardware. It has a Quad HD display, Snapdragon 810 Octa-core chipset, 4 gigs of RAM, it has a 21 megapixel rear camera, dual tone LED flash, fingerprint scanner, 8 megapixel camera, front camera. So all in all it's really power packed uh, device and uh, truly really flagship device in terms of the specs being offered. Now let's uh, analyze the camera, see the camera interface and how the camera samples have come uh, and then uh, decide how good the camera is. So before we go into uh, the camera uh, details, so let's first have a technical aspects of this camera. So this has a Sony it's a powerful uh, IMX230 uh, CMOS sensor uh, with face detection, autofocus, uh, it also has optical image stabilization, there is 4K video recording support, slow motion uh, recording and then it also has true tone LED flash, there is also uh, 77 degree wide angle capture uh, allowed. So those are the aspects about uh, the uh, rear facing camera and now the front facing camera also is a powerful camera it has 8 megapixel camera and uh, it also has f2.2 with 86 degree wide angle uh, uh, option then uh, it's really good selfie camera in terms of the specs. Now let's open the camera interface and uh, see how good the camera is. So if you have been using uh, U devices, you might be already uh, uh, known this camera. This is the Cyanogen uh, camera. So this runs Cyanogen 12.1 uh, OS on top of Android 5.1. So the Cyanogen camera is a pretty simple camera. We have three options to record videos, panorama and uh, photos. At the bottom you have uh, different uh, options to choose the selfie camera, then uh, enable or disable flash, uh, then you have the ad additional options to change um, the exposure, uh, brightness, uh, timer is also included. So these options are available, you can also enable location. So these are basic options. Now if you go to the settings, um, we have uh, the camera options, the 21 megapixel, that's 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. If you want 16 is to 9, now you only have 8.3 megapixel. So that's the only option available. Then uh, we have face detection, uh, then uh, touch focus duration and uh, other options are included. Uh, video recording, we have HD and also 4K Ultra HD video recording capabilities. High speed and slow motion is also included. Slow motion is at 60 FPS, even high speed is at uh, uh, 60 FPS. You can also record at, uh, videos in time lapse. So then uh, you can change the codec as well. So video codec can be also changed. And in the general options, uh, we have the default options like uh, a power, uh, I mean power button for uh, uh, shutter speed, volume to zoom in, and all the other options are included. So that was the camera interface. Now uh, you can also change the different modes by just swiping here. Uh, from uh, top to bottom or bottom to top you can just just ready photo auto hdr chroma flash opti zoom action night mode steady photo so these are the options available so you can just quickly uh, swipe up and down and uh, then um, get uh, different modes so that is the camera interface now let's go straight into the photo samples so as you can see from the uh, images taken in daylight, they have plenty of detail. The 21 megapixel uh, Sony sensor is able to capture great details. Uh, the colors look really good. The sharpness levels are also pretty good. So all in all, uh, the daylight shots, the photos have come really great. And uh, it's one of the really good cameras in this price point. Remember, it's priced at 2499. And in this price point, there is also Honor 7. Uh, so that's also really great camera. So now this camera comes uh, with really great quality. You can see some of the close-up shots which we are taken it also has really great quality uh, the overall color quality uh, the contrast and uh, other aspects about the uh, about the photo looks really good so daylight photos um, uh, both the close-up as well as the uh, daylight photos have come really great so all in all in daylight uh, this is one really good camera uh, if you are uh, uh, if you're looking for some great camera in this price point now talking about the low light or uh, images taken in artificial lighting uh, it again looks pretty decent but then it's not really the best in this price point we would say uh, there is slight noise here and there it could have been slightly better but nevertheless it's still a decent camera in low light as well so here are some of the low light samples 
and they have come pretty decent uh, but then uh, the phase detection out of focus did have some issues uh, in extreme low light conditions but uh, overall uh, the performance of this camera looks pretty decent so it may not be really the best camera we would say in this price point but definitely one of the better cameras out there on a flagship device uh, and it's not really comparable with uh, the flagships like the Note 5 and Samsung Galaxy S6 which really have superior cameras so in that aspect uh, we can really say that the Utopia has a really great camera Camera. but then uh, for this pricing this is really good camera uh, we are we are expecting uh, uh, the cyanogen to release more updates to this device fixing some of the issues in the camera especially the low light so it can be fixed with uh, software updates so we are expecting that to happen now let's move on to the selfie camera so this is the selfie camera experience and uh, here we have the video recording and options so if you go to the options so uh, we can uh, uh, we have the picture size as uh, 7.7 .7 megapixels and we video recording is uh, at uh, full HD option so we can record uh, uh, full HD videos using the front facing camera so these are the options available and uh, if you go to uh, back to the camera you can just just uh, uh, use the modes different modes are available as I said before so that can also be chosen from here so here are some of the sa selfie samples taken with this 8 megapixel camera and again the selfie camera looks pretty decent uh, the colors looks uh, pretty decent and uh, for social sharing this is pretty decent uh, selfie experience and it also can record videos in uh, uh, full HD mode now this phone can record videos in uh, the rear camera the 21 megapixel camera can record videos in uh, 4k as well as uh, full HD and we already uploaded the 4k video samples you can check out our uh, channel uh, to see the 4k resolution and overall we would say uh, the video looks pretty good uh, there is good detailing in the videos uh, and it also has optical image stabilization so video recording uh, is pretty decent and uh, low light uh, recording is just uh, average so uh, overall you would say this uh, cam this device has really good camera and uh, it's able to capture really good photos in daylight and also close up shots but uh, uh, low light imaging abilities could have been improved slightly considering that this has uh, a powerful 20 mm megapixel uh, sony sensor so that's the only concern and the flash also works pretty well the dual tone led flash also works pretty well so you can you you might have already seen some of the samples which we have taken using uh, the flash so that was the camera review of the U utopia so all in all we would say it's a really good camera in this price point if not the best there are some improvements needed especially in the low light photography which would uh, definitely make one of the better cameras in this price point so that's all guys so hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day